In the Bronx, New York, yeah, that's where I was born Singing, dancing, day and night, and oh so strong In the project, struggling through thick and thin All I know is when I write, it comes with it Hello, hello, hello. You are tuned in to the Arts Reporter, your Arts Reporter. Pretty is Pink uh, today, focusing on um, breast cancer awareness. Uh, MimiJohnson.net, so happy to be here with you. Every Wednesday, it goes down right here. And, um, you know, my career, wow. You know, uh, I feel so blessed. What can I say? We got the sibling sitcom, look. We're at a thousand plus views, which is really, really good for, uh, uh, I would say, influential TV, influ influential positive TV, um, youtube.com forward slash the sibling sitcom, <clears throat> Friday, episode two. So be on the lookout. <clears throat> now, December 21st, my mom and I are having our birthday party, so... I'm really looking forward to that. And um, that's going to be at Mark Squared Studios. Um, February MJTV Global News. Okay, so y'all know I'm a television uh, network owner now. <coughs> Excuse me. So, Global News. I'll let y'all know who the anchors are um, coming January. March 1st at the Rialto. The Diva and Daughter, get your tickets. Blackwomeninjazz.com, get your tickets. Mom, you, you already know my mother is fabulous. JoanCartwright.com. So I get it from my mama. So, of course, I'm fabulous as well. And we're going to be performing. Shout out to Shay. Um, and then March... Uh, Natural Hair Quest with Iokeisha Smith. I'll be producing a natural hair show. Really, really looking forward to that. So look, MimiJohnson.net, all my information is there. I'll update my calendar for you in the next week or so. So we only have three more shows. Hey, Al. We only have three more shows. Al Burroughs and I um, are going to take a break. Um, so we'll have December 4th, which is today. Uh, December 11th will be Purple is Life, our domestic violence awareness show. And then the 18th will be our end of the year show. Um, I'm really looking forward to having two weeks. I'm not going to say I'm not going to work because y'all know I work. But I will say that um, I'm not going to do too many public appearances. I'm going to take it easy. Um... Hey, bird. How you doing? <laughs> Pretty as pink. Yes, indeed. Our number one. Uh, bird, uh, Al. Bird, bird is is uh, famous <laughs> for watching Tar TV. <laughs> we love you, bird. Out of Florida. Yeah. Uh, 96 countries worldwide. Wow. What can I say? It's a blessing. Um, over 20,000 plus viewers archived and live at MimiJohnson.net and also at YouTube.com forward slash The Arts Reporter. Thank you so much to our advertisers. You are the reason, believe it or not. Um, I uh, just got a shout out to my advertisers. Wow. It's amazing how um, you understand branding, marketing, you understand that you have to increase your profile if no one knows you, who can buy from you, very important. Um, we actually have one of our advertisers here, Wendy, so we'll be speaking with her in a few minutes. So look, you're logged on to MimiJohnson.net, the triple threat, the arts reporter where we focus on arts, entertainment, entrepreneurs, and inspirational life stories. Every Wednesday it goes down right here. We're going to pay some bills. We'll be right back. Mwah. Fame 15. Fame 15. Fame 15. You're watching Fame 15. Fame 15. How you doing? This is Miss Mimi Johnson .net, the triple threat. We are here on the set of Fame 15. We're holding it down at Mark Squared with our photographer, C. Reese.
getting ready to bring you guys a fantastic show. So we're looking forward to January 2014. We're here at Mark Square, Fame 15. Hi, it's Nicole Ward here at Fame 15, just doing my photo shoot. We're so excited to be with the beautiful Althea. We just finished Woo! it, killing it. MyFame15.com Meet the Williams family, the matriarch, Tyra. Hello, world. The baby, Mimi. Tyra. Hey, world! <laughs> the siblings, sitcom. Meet the Williams family, meet the baby, Mimi. Hey world! Meet Junior. Hello world! Hey Junior! Hey Mimi! <laughs> Meet Vanessa. Hi Mimi! Hey Junior! Hey, hey Vanessa! <laughs> ha! Ha! She's having a vision. The Siblings Sitcom. Bye. Hi world! Bye. Yes, yes. Hi. Hello. You know what? I really, really, um, I, uh, I, I called you, and this is Wendy Nagel. Yes. And, um, you know, you were like, I don't do that anymore because I collect these, all of these business cards. And it was another um, company that you were representing, at the, um, I guess, at the time when I got the business card. Very true. Then I called you and you were like, uh -uh, I don't do that anymore. This is what I do. So talk, let's, you're, okay, Nerium. Yes. Nerium now, and you have some photos here. I do. For us now. This looks like, um, you know, 70s maybe. With the, you know, because it's it, it looks like an older situation in the neck and all that. So right. tell us about Nerium and um, it's also, you're a breast cancer activist. I am. I am. My mom had breast cancer. Um, she's been in remission for um, seven years. And on wow. a daily basis, I click a website that um, I give a free mammogram for every click. Okay. So every day I get an email reminder to click for the day. What's the, I, what's the website? Um, it's, I believe it's the breastcancersite.com. Okay. And I can uh, I can try and get that for you in okay. a minute. And uh, I will definitely forward it to you. Please and you can do. Forward it on. And so, yes, I, I believe very much. I wear pink whenever I can. Yes. Uh, and I, I am actually originally from Chicago. I've been in Atlanta for 14 years. And I am a mompreneur. I have <laughs> a 20-year-old and a 16-year-old. Okay. And I have had a long journey of uh, direct sales companies. And I was telling some people recently that I found my home. And part of it is I'm the kind of person, people say I can sell ice to Eskimos, but truly I cannot. I can sell ice to Eskimos if I believe in the ice. Yes. And guess what? I found something that I believe in. Yes, yes. Let's talk about it. Okay. <coughs> so part of it is this is, and let's see if we I can, that camera right there. if we can do that. Mm -hmm. um, this is 90 days ago. There you go. Turn it back. This go. is me 90 days ago in this picture mm -hmm. and this is me now. now wow okay 90 days using this product called nerium and then this is me in the face now it's a pretty raw picture i must admit but the bags under my eyes as well the puffiness the lines here and the lines on my cheeks are diminishing 
I love it. Well, girl, because I'm 48 years old. I use something like that. I might look like I'm back in my 20s. I don't want to go back there. You know, but, but I'd love that. I'd love the preservation of it one all. One of the things that we say, and I'll be 55 in January. One of the things that we say is give us a year with this product and we'll give you back 10. Yeah, put that put that um, uh, Nerium up when you get a moment, Al. Okay, so give your motto again. Give, give me us, a year. Uh huh. We'll give you back ten. Okay, and so, and plug your website. Okay, it's wendynagel.nerium.com. <laughs> you are so cute. Thank this you. child here, <laughs> she is something else. Thank you. <laughs> so, what made you? You know, because um, a lot of times we have to have some kind of interest or see it. So, where did you see this product, and what made you be inspired? Um, well, a friend of mine uh, worked. She got involved with the company, and she started sending me emails in Facebook about her love for the product and that she was having results. Mm -hmm. So she said, would you like to try the product? And I've tried a lot of different things. I'm tired of the systems that take five or six products before I go to bed and five or six more in the morning. Mm -hmm. And this, when I started three months ago, was one product at night. We now have a day cream as well. And I just thought, okay, simple, easy, you know, I put it on, I wash my face at night, I put it on five pumps with a wet, a damp face, and I go to sleep. And I woke up seven and a half days later with less wrinkles on my face. Okay. It was so exciting. So I actually was a believer in the product right away, and about <coughs> two weeks later said to her, you can't have your bottle back. <laughs> I didn't want to give it to her. So I said, how do I do this? So I signed up in the business and I said, I'll make you a deal. She said, "Never, nobody's ever done this. I said, I'll make you a deal. I said, I'll sign up and I'll hold on to my bottle until I get my order and then I'll give you back a bottle. Okay. And we made that deal. And okay. I've been using the product ever since. And what's in the product? What's so special about this uh, product? It's, it's actually a natural product. It's, an, it's the oleander plant and it was originally designed to um, help with cancer and obviously the link with breast cancer. Yes. Um, and uh, the other wonderful thing about the company is that we do give back to cancer research. That's this, wonderful. This company, there's, there's about 10 different ways that Nerium gives back. We give, we give to Big Brothers Big Sisters. We give back to our existing um, customers. We give back to the distributors. And we give back to the foundation that does uh, cancer research. Incredible company. I love it. Um, I don't know. I do. I, I don't have any wrinkles no. like yet. No. Well, I mean, the people in my family, like, we don't even look old until we're like in our well into our eighties. And but but you know, for like, I've, I'm starting to get my little crow's feet there, yeah. and um, and uh, uh, this this. Gobble right here. <laughs> it's genetics. Uh -huh. Don't laugh at me, uh -huh. Al. Uh -huh. This thing, <laughs> this thing is genetics. Like everyone on both sides of my family got this gobble going on. So no matter how, if I'm uh, thinner or I still keep that. Well, we have 18 year olds using our product. Okay. Um, they're they're using it to get rid of emerging lines. Mm -hmm. Also with. Um, with people of color, one of the things that we've seen is, is a lot of times their skin texture, large pores, you'll see their pores minimized. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of things the product does. It isn't all about wrinkles. Okay. So oh, okay, younger, okay. Looking younger is definitely a benefit. Okay. Okay. God, if I look any younger. <laughs> wait, let me look at my snow. Let me stop. <laughs> I got some uh, girls, some some teenagers on, uh, you know, sets where I do um, productions and performances, and they they can't ever call it. They're like, I, they're like, how old do you miss Mimi? And I'm like, guess. They can never get. They it. can never so get you, it. You and I could go to a carnival. Mm -hmm. And you know how they either guess your weight or guess your age? Right. We'd always win. We'd always win. Would ever Give me my stuff animal. <laughs> <laughs> so with your product, um, how many people do you think are using your product worldwide? 
Well, we're only in the United States. Okay. And I don't have an exact answer to that. Okay, but this is what it is, is that because we are worldwide, so hey, 96 countries, mwah, love you. We will be in other countries yes. at some point. If, say one of my viewers calls, you know, wants to call you, you can ship. They'll go on my website and we can I can email them and, and get them the product. Yeah, so you're probably more worldwide than you realize because as long as you've got a website, which is wendynagel.neerium.com. Right. Mm-hmm. Wendynagel.neerium.com. People will be able to contact you worldwide. Um, so this is made in the United States? Yes, it is. Okay. It is. And how long has your company been in existence? Well, we've been, we've been selling the product for two years. Really? Yes. That's very yes. new. And what's very, very cool is that the, um, the company, uh, we give Lexus cars to... Uh, Specific earners. Oh, wait a minute! And, I might have and to start selling me. We have over six thousand Lexus car drivers in two years. And are are you 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 I on your way? I'm working on my way. I'm working on my way. Absolutely. So you gonna come and pick me up and drive yeah, me in your Lexus, absolutely. girl? Absolutely. We'll, <laughs> we'll go cruise to the Rialto. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! You hear that, mommy? <laughs> What would be some advice that you would give to entrepreneurs like yourself, um, you know, raising children? Um, what would be some advice that you would give them, you know, for them to be inspired and uplifted? I'm, I would definitely say do what you love and the money will follow. Um, because mm -hmm. I, one of the things I tried and the reason I did, I tried so many different businesses. Mm -hmm. um, the I wasn't following my passion. Okay. And once I followed my passion, it all started to fall into place. What is your passion? My passion is helping people. And my passion, what I would mm. like to do with this as, as I progress in the company, my why that makes me cry is that I would like to have a dance studio uh, and offer dance therapy for children who have been abused. Girl, you're going to make me lose an eyelash. No, don't, don't cry. <laughs> gonna make me that's inspiring Thank you. I love working with people that love helping people because I am that as well and I think that we <clears throat> connect as people like my um, co-host for today Nichelle Fox and Beth uh, Goodman and um, even Steve Moore our cast you know um, we love helping people and so that's how we become connected and I, I would love to um, you know continue to promote you and definitely will pray for you for your endeavors with the dance studio um, I am a huge activist for child abuse and um, human trafficking so we got a lot of work to do. We do. We got a lot of work to do. Let's put our heads together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We are, and we are. We're already doing it. And thank you so much for um, sharing um, about how you donate to breast cancer yeah. because that's what our show is about today is to increase the, the profile of awareness for breast cancer and to increase funding mm -hmm. and to um, one day have a cure. Wouldn't that be wonderful? Yeah. You know, they say that the money is not in the cure. The money is in the medicine. But I'm hoping one day that that will change. I agree with you. Let's get it before it gets us. Yeah. All right. Well, she's inspiring, Miss Wendy you. Nagel. Thank Any you. last words, how viewers? you? Uh, just, as I said, you know, I love what I do. And, um, you know, I, I also, the last thing is, I'm also creating a legacy for my daughters. Yes. So that when they get out of college and who knows what the job market is going to be, they will already have a, a stream of income Go, that girl. they can fall back on. It's and that's called, the other part of my dream, residual income. Yeah, that's called generational wealth. Yep. Yes, I'm working on that as well. My mother started that situation for me, for actually my grandmother and great-grandmother. So it's almost like a domino effect. I don't know what it is with the women in my family, but we 
give to the next generation. So I'm doing it for my daughter, but my sons as well. Awesome. Yeah. I only have girls, so I can That's only, okay. You I don't want no rockhead boy <laughs> anyway. Them boys, I used to have to post them up, girl. Don't even worry about it. <laughs> you, 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 you doing good with the girls. Because I'm telling you, boy, I used to be like, boy, they were good separate. It's when they were together. Seek and destroy. Hey, Robert. Hey, Anthony. Love ya. <laughs> but they're grown now. They're beautiful, beautiful adults. I beat mine. I don't know what y'all doing over here in this generation, but I did. I I whooped some butt. Um and so but now they're really great, great people, you yeah, know. We kinda we kinda pushed manners, you know. Yes, um, yes. You you have please to and thank you and, and be polite and, and have when I pick you up at someone's house the I want to hear that, you know, you're the best behaved child that they ever had at their house. <laughs> I don't care how you behave at home, but when you're over there, you better behave at home. <laughs> don't you embarrass so, me. Right. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> All right. Well, we're going to go to Thank a commercial you. break. Thank you, Thank so, you so, much. so much for having me. Yes. Wendy Nagel. Log on to Wendy Nagel, and it's N-A-G-E-L dot Nerium, N-E-R-I-U-M dot com. We'll be right back right after these messages. You're logged on to Mimi John. Johnson.net, the arts reporter, your arts reporter, where we focus on arts, entertainment, entrepreneurs, and inspirational life stories. Be right back. Mwah. Arts Reporter, your arts reporter, where we focus on arts, entertainment, entrepreneurs, and inspirational life stories. Pretty is pink. Of course, you know I have my fabulous cast, my co-host, Miss Beth Goodman. Sprinkles. The traveling shirt. I got it. <laughs> I finally got it. Now look, now, yeah, and, and, yeah. and Michelle Fox. Yes. 
who didn't want to let the shirt go after I gave it to her. I mean, you know, if it works, you want to hold on to it. And we can make it go around and around, but you really didn't want to give that okay, shirt up. That's not true because I brought it twice. Oh, she yeah. was a no show. Twice. Well, twice. well, twice. that's okay because she oh, when she had some mm -hmm. things to do. See? But yes. that's okay. But you still, you really didn't want to get. I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Thank I you. You're welcome. And it looks so good on you. But this it is a does. Dress that looks good on all. Oh, I know. Yes. Yes. No, uh, not me. Okay. Well, 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 no, 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 no. We haven't given it to Steve. Steve. <laughs> we haven't given it to him. Yeah. Yeah. No, we're not gonna give oh, that to no. Steve. Oh. But it does look good on all of us. Yes, them. it yes. does. Yes. And and you are you, Beth. Yes, ma'am. This is our breast cancer survivor, Yay. and you are just incredible. Doing it, doing it. Now you have your kingdom clothing. Yep, kingdom with clothes. K, K, K. Yes. You know, K's. Um, kingdom clothes. Yes. Dot com. Yep. And um, so I just want you to plug that real quick and Certainly. give us a little. Certainly. Kingdom Clothes is the next up and coming fashion line that fuses faith with high fashion. We also customize. Visit us at kingdomclothes.com. That's www.king.klothes.com. And on Facebook as well. Sprinkle. She, <laughs> does she belong on TV or what? Okay. Like. Now look, yes. um, I already have a set up for next year for Prettiest Pink. I'll be getting over the um, the schedule to you. Fantastic, awesome. Michelle Fox. That is I. That yes. is I. My Shiro. Mm -hmm. You're my Shiro. You're my Shiro too. Yes. <clears throat> but you're like so well, epic. I mean, um, this year has been epic. We got through the three day. Mm -hmm. uh, we met the goal. Nice. So we're good with that. Yes. 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 I knew you would. Yes, you know, it was a, a little bit stressful down there, but um, we got through it, and this year's three-day was a lot better um, than my previous year. My knees held out. I did well. Nice. And it was almost as good as the first time. We, I had a lot of new walkers that walked this year. Great. So we connected, and they all said, nothing that I explained to them or talked to them about or the videos they watched, could justify the actual experience. Absolutely. Yes. So when I say to you, there's nothing like the three day, you have to actually experience it. Mm -hmm. Those words are true. You have to experience it for yourself because there's nothing like it. And if you think that the money is going to be a problem, don't worry about that. There are Where there's a will, there's a way. Mm -hmm. The experience, if you need this to complete your journey or to be a part of your journey as you battle, as you support someone that's received the diagnosis, <coughs> and don't let that be a deterrent to you. Get out there yes. and get started because the fundraising season has officially begun. That's right. Uh, it never ends. It never ends. It I never ends. a little bit of a break, <coughs> but it has officially begun. So we're ready. We're set. And if you decide that you want to register for the Susan G. Coleman three-day um, before December 20th, I believe, Mm -hmm. the registration is $35 nice. so that's a huge discount from the $60 um, the $90 registration mm -hmm. so if you're able to and you want to take advantage of the $35 registration and start a team join a team I'm open I'll coach you I'll help you train you it's just an amazing experience and of course Sal and I will be there again nice. yeah and Brigida <clears throat> and I mean there are so many others yes you know so and tell people where they can find you because you're like all over Facebook. Yes, I am. <laughs> you can find me on Facebook under Nichelle Fox. That's with an N like November. Or you can find me under my team name, which is Fox's Trotters. And that's where I post a lot of breast cancer information, walking information. Of course, you can find me if you're looking for my book which is Notes Along My Journey. So you can also find me on Facebook. And if you're looking to donate or you want to join the team, under the Susan G. Komen, it's uh, www.the3day.org backslash go to backslash Nichelle. And that's where you'll find me. And you are more than welcome to go ahead and make a donation and get it in this year so you can get your tax deduction. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, Beth. Yes, ma'am. Do you think that we, I'm, I want to I want to try to walk next year? Let's do it. Whoop, whoop. So. Let's um, do it. Okay. Let's do it. <clears throat> so we're going to see what's going to happen with that. Okay. I have to look at my schedule yes. and just get it all in order. But <clears throat> I would want the three of us 
because we're true. like the three amigos and then plus one amigo yes. over there. <laughs> yes. So let's see if we can do that now. Steve, you've got some information for us. Yes. Um, it's Steve Moore. How are you? And I can say that I'm honored to be sitting here with these women that are leading the battle to defeat the beast. Yay. Now, does anyone know what Monday was? No? No? That's Monday like was Mammogram Monday. Monday. Oh, it sure And I was. hope well, what was that Tuesday? people have taken it Mammogram sure Tuesday. <laughs> it's Mammogram <laughs> every day. But mammogram every day. I'm just hoping that a lot of people it just sure took was. the initiative Absolutely. and went and got your mammograms done. Took an auntie, a grandma, a friend, a sister, a daughter mm -hmm. to get it done. You will never know unless you get this done. Absolutely. Get yourself checked. And men, get yourself checked also. Yes, yes. it does affect us. Yes. It does affect us. It does. And uh, like I said, it's an honor to be sitting here with these wonderful women that uh, they have no fear. We're I'll Steve's put it that pink way. angels. Oh, look yes. at that. Even look though I wear pink too. Okay, so I'm going to go pink. this yes. way. <laughs> Which way are you going to go? And which way are you gonna I'm just go? Going this way. And I'm just gonna go like this. <laughs> 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 but yes, please get yourself yes. checked. I do want to um, say, I'm sorry to cut you. Mm -hmm. Tuesday was Giving Tuesday. So people that were in the spirit of giving or doing a random act of kindness, that was Tuesday. Mm -hmm. But to piggyback on the importance of your mammogram, I don't know how many of you watch the news, but uh, Robin's colleague. Uh, submitted for she went online live on air yes, uh, and took a mammogram mm -hmm. it was her first one she'd never had it before and she was very much afraid she did the mammogram yes. and then a couple of weeks afterwards she got a phone call to come in and they ran some more tests and she has a diagnosis she has breast cancer yes um, in the process of beginning her treatment or deciding what they're going to do, they've come across some additional complications. So it is important it to is. get your mammograms. Don't worry about the cost because there are so many available resources where you can get it on a sliding scale, if not free, um, a partial payment. The important thing is to get the mammogram, mm -hmm. make the appointment and schedule it. And we tell you that every other month, every day, if you're on Facebook, I'm putting it out there all the time. You need to get your mammograms. Mm -hmm. And give, give, just give a couple of websites where people can go to, please. Um, you <clears throat> can definitely check with the American Cancer Society. Mm -hmm. You can also, um, there is an organization and they are called Sisters by Choice. And you can check with them because they have a wonderful program. They also have a, mam uh, a mobile mammogram. Uh, mobile? Mobile. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Because mm -hmm. it's like um, an RV. Yes. But they do also do provide mammograms for you. So those are two that I definitely um, feel very strongly about and the services that they provide. Wellstar also provides mammograms. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And depending on the type that you get determines the cost Absolutely. that is available to you. So there are, there are the resources. They are out there. You have to um, be willing to look for them, make some phone calls, ask some questions. Because if you don't know, maybe someone else you know does know. Someone mm -hmm. else that has done that's it right. can refer you to a place that's reputable, that they trust, and is actually going to take care of you. Mm -hmm. so Grady, awful, yes, Grady is also in partnership also. with Emory where they offer discounted mammograms okay that's they, awesome uh -huh. yeah. also um there is sisters network which is the only national african-american breast cancer survivorship organization in the entire nation so they also offer that support in getting your mammograms and performing your monthly self-examinations also realize that it's the end of the year and there are certain things that we need to do. And I'm going to give you five P's. Five P's, and we're using P's because this is pretty in pink. So the first P is appreciate. Not appreciate, but appreciate because you're playing with P's. Appreciate yourself. Celebrate all of the wonderful things that you have done this year. <coughs> give yourself the opportunity to have accomplish something. Don't focus on what you didn't get a chance to do, but appreciate yourself for what you did do. Number two, prepare. Begin to consider what you'd like to do next year. When you start preparing, you change your mindset to reach goals, to set goals, to reach objectives, to reach milestones that are attainable. Number three, pursue. 
Pursue your passion. Pursue your greatness. Pursue your purpose. Because if you don't, who will? Number four, pray. And number five, praise or party. Have some fun. <laughs> yeah. All of these five Ps will help you to keep stress down as we don't know what the cause of breast cancer is. Clearly, stress is a known contributing factor. Yes. And when you have all of those Ps, <clears throat> all of those Ps, those five Ps, appreciate, prepare, pursue, pray, praise and party, you minimize your mm -hmm. opportunity of being diagnosed, not opportunity, you minimize being diagnosed with breast cancer because you are stress-free. And the other P is y'all get some advertising on the arts reporter so I can PayPal you. Please. <laughs> <laughs> She loves herself some PayPal. The okay. Arts Reporter she at gmail.com. Okay. Yes. I am running some serious yes. ad specials right now. Y'all know I sell stuff. Yes. It's what I do. Yes. But the ads are so good that I'm even going to take an ad. Oh, yes. excellent work, y'all. Go even Ooh. though yes. I, uh, I sponsor but you, know what? you but anyway. You know what? But this is a separate ad. This ad is going to be for my business. Oh, that's right. Mm -hmm. Yes, her business. Oh, yes. okay. Yes. yes. Lovely stuff. Stella and Dot. Yes. And she is oh yeah, yeah, well. yeah, 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 yeah. So she has the necklace. I have the accompanying. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yes. excuse me. I had it, it just, on, and yes. you know, she, she took had, it off. I, we I, want I, to <laughs> accessorize the girls. Yes. You know what? <laughs> we want to make them pop, yes. not drop. Right. Oh, 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 <laughs> now, Steve, you yeah. had something else. You said. <laughs> I mean, we bought the point about. We love okay. the girls. We love the girls. Okay. Yeah. yeah you, you, uh, had, you had something else that you wanted yes. that you were telling me. Common sense, Cone. We bought the, the fact about mm -hmm. Grady. I asked about it, Grady offered of mammograms. Uh, yeah. Fulton County commissioners are pulling Ugh. the $25 million funding for Grady Hospital. Oh. Why? Why? That's right. Why? For the largest county in the state that has the largest amount of. Poverty, people that are living under the poverty level. Mm -hmm. Why would you pull that? Are you going to give Fulton County employees a raise? No. I don't think so. Are you going to give yourself a raise, commissioners? Yes. yes. I am pleading mm -hmm. and putting out to our viewers that, is that so have stupid. relatives. If you live in Fulton County, have families that live in Fulton County, join together mm -hmm. and protest around Fulton County Government Center against these commissioners because all they're doing as for part time work is lining their pockets. I work full time for Fulton County and I'm not afraid to say it. <laughs> and I bust my back in what I do. Okay, so um Common sense. It, it, you, you know take from us. I, I the decisions that are being made on this earth, I think I say it a few times over and over again when I do. I'm not I I love my life and I'm doing what I do, but I am not going to be mad when I leave here. Okay? Because it's so backwards. Everything, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. everything, the child abuse, the um, breast cancer, prostate cancer, it's just like so much turmoil. So that's why I choose to um, be fabulous in everything that I do every moment of the day. And when people, and don't complain, because... What? What's going to get you? Nothing. Right. Absolutely. And, but it is so much destruction going on in this world. And it's got nothing to do with the fact. It's got nothing else. It's the people that make the decisions regarding this planet that are totally insane and backwards. Yeah. Don't come over here next to me. Totally I'm just please. telling you, y'all know I'm from the Bronx and I carry <laughs> razors. <laughs> and I'm Puerto Rican. No, I'm just trying to figure out where are these people going to go if they take that funding from Grace? That's crazy. Go? There's nowhere else for them to go. No, exactly. there's nowhere. So you're just going to have a whole a, a city a full of sick people. Absolutely. And so that's genocide. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Walking dead. Wow. Okay, so look, I got to bring on Miss Capri Cruz. Honey, oh, y'all right, going to so love nice her. Capri. Yeah, I have to bring her on. And we only have about 40 more minutes, so I definitely got to get her on. Okay. And then we'll come back. Sounds good. So you're tuned in. Pretty is Pink, the arts reporter, your arts reporter, where we focus on... Arts, entertainment, entrepreneurship, and inspirational life stories. We'll be right back. We'll be right back. Mm.
logged on to MimiJohnson.net, the arts reporter, your arts reporter, where we focus on arts, entertainment, entrepreneurs, and inspirational life stories. And I have got Capri Cruz. Hello. Hola, chica. Hola, mama. How are you? <laughs> She's cute. I'm talking. I got the best, cutest females on my show. Y'all keep we model. <laughs> Listen, um, wow. I can't even remember where I met you, but I probably saw a business card or something like mm -hmm. that because I'm always networking and always being in touch with people. But you have got a fabulous story. Yes, and it's expanding and exponentially snowballing out of control. Out yeah. Of control. God, when he works, he works. Yes, he does. Yes. And he got a family, too. Don't think that he Ooh, ain't God. got... Oh. Yeah, girl. Don't think that he <laughs> gonna give about? us a family, and he ain't got no right. family up there doing their thing. Yes, they are doing their thing. Um, they are protecting. Yes, the foster children. That is for sure. Okay, so yes, let's yeah. start. Let, you, you, you were in foster care. Yes, Nash, can you hand me that book, please? I'm so sorry. Um, so I was in foster care. Yes. Um, I was from seven to thirteen. My parents were substance abusers. Thank you. And um, this is the book I wrote about my life, mm -hmm. and it turned into to a template, a, a self-help template for foster children. And so, you know, when God tells you to move, you just move. Yes. You know? So I was retiring from the military and I had no intention on doing all this with my life. Um, so he put it in my heart to write the book. I wrote the book. Um, he put it in my heart to make it a national movement and it's turned into a self-help template book. Um, and I'm bringing it to the organizations through DFACS. And um, right now on my website, um, www.caprecruise.com, it came through my spirit, through my dreams. You know, I don't always tell people that because they think it's a little crazy. But when you're connected with your subconscious. No, that's not crazy. When you're connected with your spirit, mm -hmm. you know, you come up with ideas, things come to you. Yes. So he, it came to me to create um, the personal growth uh, literacy program for foster children. Okay. Immediately, as soon as that came to me, like two days later, it came to me to do a Christmas fundraiser. Okay. So on my website, I'm doing the Christmas fundraiser right now. I have fabulous supporters. I mean, I'm asking for a hundred dollars for from a hundred people so we can raise money for Christmas. And I have supporters that are not even asking why, what, where is it going, how you doing it. Yes. They just know my passion. They, they know me personally, they see my story, and I'm a therapist, and I work for um, a company with, with foster children, mental health therapists, and, you know, I know what they need. I was one of them, I work with them, and I can't provide them a home. That I can't do. I can't provide them all a home. Although I am thinking about within the next year or so opening, you know, um, my own group home and stuff like that. But that's a whole other story. So um, right now I'm doing what I can do. And that is teaching them the personal growth elements that they need to learn. Which is, it starts with love yourself. Mm -hmm. You know, when you come from abuse and you come from... Um, you know, you get estranged from your family, you don't have connections with people, you become angry, you become isolated, become hurt. Uh, all these all these negative things separate you from God. Mm -hmm. Sometimes they yes. bring you closer, but more often than not in the foster care community, in California it was reported 70% of foster children that leave foster care become incarcerated. 70%. That's a high number. And it's because they don't have the fundamentals. That's right. The learn to love yourself. Learn to define yourself for yourself. You know, they also need a home. They need a lot of things. But what I can help them with is self-identity. Mm -hmm. that's, that's what I'm bringing. So let's go back. When, when did you go into foster care? When I was seven, which was 1977. Okay. And it, because your parents were drug abusers... Mm -hmm. Um, so they, so the, the state took you out of the home? Kind of, sort of, not really. Um, I was born in New York. I'm from Queens. So my mother and father separated. My mom went down to Virginia. She was neglecting us or abusing us, whatever. I don't know. I was seven. Um, so CPS got called. They were called CPS back then. We were removed from the home. Um, my father brought me back into the family at 13. And then there was more abuse within my own biological family. So I became a runaway. And then I became a dropout. And then I became uh, a couch surfer, you know, living with friends. And so I was 16 and pretty much homeless, which is the story of many foster children, because mm -hmm. you, don't, you don't have family, mm -hmm. you don't have a support system. 
So um, one of my foster mothers, um, who I just spent her 65th birthday with, Lynn and Wade Walsh, uh, shout out to them. Hey, Lynn. Uh, yeah, they're wonderful. Uh, she brought me back in at 17. Because I was going to move to St. Thomas. My brother was like, we were in Staten Island. He was like, let's move to State um, St. Thomas. I was like, okay, you know, I'm 16. I don't know. And she was like, girl, what? No, you you need to go back to school. So I went back down to Virginia. And um, and then I joined the Navy, you know. And, um, mm. and God kept me because for the first 17 years in the military, I was miserable. Mm. I was miserable. What did and you I do? didn't know why. What What did you do as a, for for your job in the military? What did you do? Um, I just wrote like reports and stuff. Working okay. On the computer. Okay. So like administration. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. So um, what inspired you? I'm, I know that there's a lot of inspiration that goes along with your book. Mm -hmm. Um, but you know that that deep deep rooted um soul inside of you said to write. Yes. which usually is the connection with spirit, with yes. uh, the most high, whoever you mm -hmm. want him mm -hmm. or her mm -hmm. or it to be. Right. Um, so with your inspiration of writing your book, um, you know, it, touching when we touch people with our ministry, because that's right. basically that's what yep. you are, just like with Nichelle and Beth mm -hmm. and uh, Steve and I, we yeah. have a ministry through media and mm -hmm. through, you know, telling our stories. What um, inspired you to put it all on paper right. and gave you that push? Mm -hmm. Well, it, it really started um, about the year 2000. So I wrote the book in 2008-9. In 2000, my brother, who's an entrepreneurial um, just genius, he, he kept telling me, Capri, you got to read these personal growth books. You, you know, he just kept telling me, you know, um, James Allen, um, As a Man Thinketh, all these types of books. And... Because I was alcohol dependent mm -hmm. to get through my life. Still in the military for 17 years, I would go to work, I would come home, and I, you know, I graduated, I got my master's degree and everything. But I didn't, I couldn't deal because I didn't know what was wrong okay. inside. And what was wrong was, uh, you know, there was nothing inside me. It was searching, it was looking, it was lost, it was lonely, my spirit was uncomfortable it was in distress because i didn't have a family i was estranged i was in another country you know what i mean and so i was lost when you don't the seriousness of having a unit family a core whether it's blood or not just mm -hmm. one person yes. to identify with one person to say to call when when you're confused when you're lost when you're desperate yes. when you're depressed when you're ready to kill yourself when I was 16, I tried to commit suicide because you feel so isolated and so alone. And if you don't have that personal relation for me without Jesus, what are you what are you dependent on? You're dependent on the drugs. You're dependent on alcohol. You de you have um, domestic violence in the home. You mm -hmm. have men that don't want to come home to their families because they can't deal with the woman. You have all these things because you're disconnected from your spirit. Your spirit is looking for something. So uh, what was your original question? Well, so what... <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. That's this is good. This is good. I'm loving this. Um, okay, so what made you? Oh, what made me right? So my brother was telling me read these personal. But books. I got another question too. So, so it that developed. One. It yeah. developed. My spirit was hungry. It was looking for a purpose over those eight years. And then, you know, I was going to college, so I was developing myself intellectually and spiritually. I was searching for God all my life, and I found him. I just didn't know it. You know, it had okay. So it just came upon me. You know, I was doing, I was YouTube and personal growth coaches. I was listening to Jim Rohn and Tony Robbins and uh, Robbins and, and all these people. Um, and so I did, when you don't have family, you're always searching. You're, you're looking for something. You don't know what you're looking for, but what it is is you're looking for love. Love. You want God, someone we to need love that. you. You want someone to help you. Yes. I, I would have friends, and God bless them. I have the best friends from the military. Okay. Uh, I appreciate them more now that I'm older than I did when I was younger and drinking because I couldn't recognize the jewel that God had put in front of me. And my friend told me, he said, what are you doing? What are you doing with your life? You're so beautiful. You're so intelligent. You're so, you know, you got all this talent. What are you doing? And so it awoke within me, mm -hmm. the spirit, and to write this book. Mm -hmm. But I knew from high school, my high school creative writing teacher told me when I was in 11th grade that I had talent as a writer. But it was dormant in me because no one cultivated that. Yes. 
and that's the importance <coughs> of family and that's why children need foster homes and adoptive parents because when they're in these group homes I work with children primarily in group homes you know the companies are doing all they can but they can't provide that that love that mommy daughter connection yes, even if yes. it's not your biological parent there is a connectivity there that's on a human level and that's what helps me to teach them learn to love yourself what does that mean because if you don't have that fundamental thing of self-love child please you are you lost. lost yes you are lost you are lost and you that's really 37. are 37 it, it was when i turned 37 years old that's when my light bulbs went off i left my last abusive relationship when i was 37 years old and i'm not ashamed to say it because there's people out there that are still in them and you can't even explain why you know, so many men have asked me and other people, you know, you have your little girlfriend, whatever, conversations with your friends. And they're like, why do women stay in abusive relationships? And sometimes you don't even know why you're there because you're so lost. When you're so lost, when you don't, when mm. you don't know who you are, you mm. got to know who you are. And when you're in foster care, most times you don't know because your family either don't want you or can't keep you. The people you're living with may or may not treat you like family. You know, you're in a group home. You're just a roommate with five, six, seven other kids. You know, you don't know who you are. Do you have family now? Um, I, I have, see this big ring on your uh, finger. Some man got uh, you. No, don't believe the hype. Uh, Good <laughs> God. She might no. as well drag you. You, mm -mm. you can almost drag that hand on the floor. That's a big rock. Mm -mm. Thank you very much. Yeah. To my future husband. <laughs> Maybe just a little bit bigger. A little bit bigger. <laughs> Maybe just a little bit bigger. Take a picture. It'll last longer. <laughs> Thank it's you. So funny. No. Um, but you know, um, I believe God has the right husband for me. Me too. And so I don't worry about it. I don't push it. Me um, neither. Mm -hmm. and, and you know, between the book and the foundation and being uh, a therapist, and I'm working on my PhD. I'm doing my dissertation okay, right now. Doctor. Uh, my husband would leave me before we even got married. Oh, so right now is not the time. It's not a good time. Mm -mm. I don't think it's a good time for me as well. I, I would have been married for 20 years to Glenn Johnson okay. in August. Yeah, but he okay. passed away in 2002. Mwah, my guardian angel. I would have been um, married 21 years. Wow. To um, my first and only true love. Mm -hmm. And wait, where is he now? With his second wife. So we don't want to talk about him. I'm okay. just saying. Yeah. That you would have, you can place. relate. Yeah. And I really. Uh -huh. Okay. Girl, crazy. Because. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and so, and so, um, for me, the, the, the relationship mm -hmm. situation, like right now being a single woman, um, I, I, I loved being married. I really right. did. So we, we do need to be in love yes. with ourselves, be in love with other people. Like I'm in love with Nichelle Fox and Beth. Mm -hmm. I'm in love with those ladies because they give me so much uh, passion about breast cancer mm -hmm. for me to keep it, keep the awareness moving. So we, every other month on Tar TV, we're doing our prettiest pink. Mm -hmm. We're coming together and you know, we're, uh, um, giving the awareness that we need for that particular cause right. so and and so your cause with foster children that's amazing um any last words for you know people that, yeah, love yourself duh yes uh-huh um, please support the the book drive you know this is um very crucial and cut me off if i go too long but you know a lot of people say even in the foster care industry that foster children don't read they have right. told me that personally. And I say this to that. The expectation to read a personal growth book that can change your life is not set forth to them. It's okay to play the, the PlayStation or whatever they got going on. Right. It's okay to watch the, the horror flicks that are triggering their trauma. It's okay to do all these other things. But let's put the expectation. I don't know why America has a problem with personal growth books. I'm here to tell you, I'm working on my PhD. I'm more phenomenal than I could ever even have thought to become. Yes. Because when God puts it on you to do it, it gets done. Yes. And the personal growth development is mandatory. Mm -hmm. Who are you if you are not developed? And these children don't have parents. They don't have homes. They don't have families. They don't have this, that, the third. 
Um, they need a book. You know, no, they may not read the whole book today. They may not even read the book at all today. But you know what? They have it. They have it. And this is what I say. When they look at the table of contents, they could say, what resonates with me today? Right. When I buy books, I don't read it from front to back the, the first week. You know? Right. I say, okay, this resonates with me. I need to know this today. Right. Chapter four. Okay. And then, you know what? I have 400 plus books in my home. I have a library because I learned through my personal growth books yes. that the people that have libraries in their home become uh, higher income producers become more educated. Okay. I have no doubt that's why I'm working on my PhD. But anyway, the children need books. They do. How dare you say because they don't read, we're not going to get them books. Let's give them the books. Oh, yeah. Set the expectation and let's see a change occur. Our okay. negativity is holding them back. Yes. That's what's holding them because they're eager. They're eager. They're eager to learn. And they're so talented. When yes. I, I go to make it, I speak to the more than 100 foster children. That, most of them, they all know their talent. It's either music or writing or poetry or architecture. I'm blown away. I'm like, when I was 17, I didn't know anything. Mm -hmm. I just knew I wanted to get out of where I was living. I won't say that town, but, you know, that yeah. was whack. Okay. Yeah. That town was horrible. So that's give what your, happened. Give your, uh, your website. www.capricruz.com. And that is C-A-P-R-I-C-R-U-Z.com. And um, you'll see a pretty Christmas tree because I'm doing the fundraiser. Usually okay. you'll see my face. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So um, I got to bring my beautiful cast back on because we're getting ready to get up on out of here okay. in a little bit. So um, you're tuned to the Arts Reporter. This is Pretty as Pink. Um, I know that your story had nothing to do with, um, you know, breast cancer, but you, you have a really great story to tell. And um, a lot of times awareness mm -hmm. of everything, we, we, you know, we, I, I like to bring a awareness to everything. Can I say something very yes. quickly? The foster children like me that don't know their family history yeah. do not know if they are in jeopardy of, of getting breast cancer more more than someone else. Yes. Because we don't know our family yes. history. I don't know anything about my mother. I don't know anything about my father's family. I know one aunt. I don't know. They, I, they had to have some kind of health concerns. Yes. I wouldn't know. Right. Yeah. So, so that yeah, is yeah, yeah. For foster children. Okay. All right. Well, um, I'm going to bring the cast back. You're tuned in. Mimi Johnson.net, the arts reporter, your arts reporter, where we focus on arts, entertainment, entrepreneurs, and inspirational life stories. That's right. We'll be right back. Mwah. Mwah. Look, I'm doing you.
are having too much fun over yeah, here. Are. And we're and and we're out of time. Yeah. So Al will be PayPaling me. Because <laughs> because we're, we're over time now. We gotta give a shout out to Roderick Cunningham, my beautiful mother, Diva JC Ma. <laughs> she's no always Happy she's birthday. I'm always like Ma. Can I shout somebody out? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Bob Kelly, he was my chief in the Navy, yeah. the best chief ever. Uh, of love course. Love him. And he knows it. He knows I love him. <laughs> the best leader. And, um, okay, so Bird, thanks a lot. And um, everyone else that's chatting, thank you so much. We appreciate you. Um, wow, we got to go. Yep. Yeah. We got to go. Mm -hmm. Look at Al mm -hmm. talking about you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> this was a great way to close no, off the year. No, 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 we won't go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It was. So, um, look, so oh. we got to get on up out of here. We got to run some more commercials. I mean, because my advertisers is going to be like, you didn't run my commercials. So we about to run commercials. And we're just going to say love yourself. Um, you Merry know, be Christmas. Happy, happy holidays. holidays. Uh -huh. Find your life See purpose. You after the new year. Find yeah. your life Make purpose. sure you go ahead and get those girls Absolutely. checked out before there's a change in your medical coverage. Absolutely. Men also uh -huh. get yourself yes. checked prostate Absolutely. and breast, please. Remember the five Ps. Yeah. And um the one thing that I can say is that everybody should really be um careful. Because this time of the year, yes. um, for those that lose their everlasting minds yes. um, with all this going on, the devil is so much at work yes, during this is. time yes, of the is. year, especially. Um, so I'm going to um, ask people to, um, you know, th don't pick one day to celebrate your family. Don't you don't yeah. you don't have to um, do what society says it, and, and then you lose your mind. Um, in the process, mm -hmm. um, I I celebrate every day um, with Thanksgiving and every mm -hmm. day with um, my family. We I have don't, to make it a priority. Yeah, we have to make it say this is a priority for me. Yeah, declare it. So, but people really are losing their minds yeah, yes. at this at this time of the season. It happens. I, I sit broke. and watch it. Well, they're gonna do that uh, because it, not it's me because, because I'm already broke. I ain't got to get broke. I'm broke it's already. Jesus oh, birthday. okay. Well, I'm yeah. not claiming. I'm not it's ever claiming broke. Yeah. And I don't like. And I don't well, like Christmas. being around broke people. For Christmas, I'm so broke. You, that way, I don't. Spend. I got to rub some. <laughs> it's well, not literal. Well, it's figurative. Well, money, well. money on well. So they're not getting my money. That's my money. I'm not yeah. giving it to the stores. I ain't giving it to nobody. Shoot, I got TV shows to pay for. Mm, pay <laughs> okay. <laughs> the Arts Reporter, your Arts Reporter, where we focus on arts, entertainment, entrepreneurs, and inspirational life stories. And on three, we're going to say tartar. -tar. One, two, three. Tartar! -tar. Tar -tar.
Meet the Williams family. Meet the baby, Mimi. Hey world! Meet Junior. Hello world! Hey Junior! Hey Mimi! <laughs> Meet Vanessa. Hi Mimi! Hey Junior! Hey, hey Vanessa! <laughs> ha! Ha! She's having a vision. The Siblings Sitcom. Bye. Meet the Williams family. The matriarch, Tyra. Hello, world. The baby, Mimi. Tyra. Hey, world! Bye. Bye. The siblings, Sitcom.